five days of services from Senator John McCain are about to begin on what would have been his 82nd birthday. He represented them in Congress for more than 35 years. Now Arizonans are saying a final goodbye to Senator John McCain. Senator McCain left behind a legacy that, regardless of your station in life, the ability to serve is, is continued. He continued his service. He gave, he gave the ultimate. He was almost the ultimate. He was a POW for five years. And then he continued to serve the public in politics. His thing was work together. He wanted the Republicans, the Democrats, the Independent. He wanted everybody to work together. And that's what it takes for a leader, you know, to make a great nation, is to work together with everybody. I served in Vietnam in 1968, uh, the same time Senator McCain was there. By chance, I got to meet him a couple years ago at the National Cemetery. And I walked up to him and, and introduced myself. I said, I also am a Vietnam vet with two Purple Hearts. And he, he gave me the biggest bear hug. And he whispered in my ear, he says, why didn't you come get me? And I said, if I knew you were there, I would have. So uh, I'm here to show him respect and the honor that he deserves. He was a man of the people. He was for us before anything else. In politics today, it's an ugly mess. And um, I think not much ethical behavior sometimes is exhibited, but I think Senator McCain always exhibited that high ethics, high moral standards, and the willingness to talk to anyone about his wanting to move us forward. Arizonans have been affected because he served for quite a long time. He was the person that they knew that they could count on, and he restored Arizona's confidence in the servant of politicians that are out there. Didn't matter who you were, he was like, okay, let's go, I will help you. And, and that is what Arizonans will miss and, and that's the impact that he had. The enduring love that he had for Arizona, it, it's gonna be here for a long time.